boy right there Yeah, that boy a buster And we been towing glizzies for they came with mustard If you need a feature, then I need a hundred uh, Then I need two hundred, uh, look, I already won yeah, yeah, uh, See that boy right there, yeah, that boy a buster And we been towing glizzies for they came with mustard Hey, yo, what's up, all you soft serves on the waffle gum? It's your boy, Gio Gum. We at 16 Stone with Uzi Mentis. Full of frames on the camera. This is Eat Local. <laughs> yeah. uh, bear witness to young and gifted, self-dependent, uh -huh. self-sufficient, well with it, word proficient, uh, completely detached from all the wicked, so prolific, so precise with all these written, who's shitting? Got listeners like, yo, who is this? Uh, no different. Come here, respect if you listen. listen. Look, come here, respect if you listen. Uh, finally in position, I can better my position. Uh, finally in a headspace where people really listen. Listen, Mentis, amateur skateboarder, pro fingerboarder, and TikTok genius. I got some questions for you, man. So uh, let's start off with TikTok. A lot of content. I see a lot of videos had like a thousand views that you were doing before you started actually growing those numbers. Um, how long did it take you to start seeing those numbers and did it surprise you when your account blew up? Yeah, that was wild. Um, I, I was doing TikTok like two years ago maybe. And like I started out like just like messing around, doing little sorts of stuff and seeing if I can get any traction or whatever. And I kind of just gave up and I like, was like, whatever, I'm not going to do this. And then actually I got, so fast forward two years, I got sponsored by Tech Deck in September, October time. And I posted one video, no, no, I posted like a video that was like a giveaway kind of video. And I was, I got a bunch of comments and stuff like that. And I was with them like overnight. So like overnight I got like 5,000 views on that. When, I had before it was like 300 views, 200 views on videos and stuff like that. And then I was like, oh shit, like, I was like, oh shit, word. Like, this shit is working, you know what I mean? Let me do some more fingerboard stuff. But at the same time, I just got sponsored by Tech Tech. Right. So I'm like, all right, let me just start posting all this Tech Tech stuff on TikTok and see where it take me. Like that first video I posted on that, it was like, right. just went straight up. So <laughs> two years. You gave up, mm -hmm. and then you got sponsored by Tech Tech. Yeah. So overnight didn't happen overnight. Overnight yeah. took two years. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, I mean, even though I gave up on TikTok, I was still like on Instagram, and right. I was still on YouTube, like, still creating content, mad content, and right? Stuff like that, doing what I needed to do. But like TikTok wise, I was like, nah. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. And then also, I found out you can like get paid and shit. I was like, where I'm about to go hard. Like, right. <laughs> why not? If you can get money, yeah. <laughs> get your money. Right. So um, that being said, we see little pieces, whether it's 30 seconds, a minute, three minutes in TikTok. Um, how long does it take you? Like, are you sitting there, like, getting the right thing? Do you just, like, fuck it, it's a vibe? It depends. So it can either come to me like that, or I can be sitting there for, like, hours. Just thinking of an idea? Just trying to think of an idea. But normally, if I sit there and I'm trying to think of an idea, it's probably going to be an ass video. And it's not going to be good. All the videos that did good on my TikTok were, like literal ideas that came to me in like seconds like like i'll be sitting there and be like boom have an idea and i'll like immediately go to do it so like i won't forget it or i'll put it in my notes right and, like, do it later or something notes is key but like most of the time it's just quick stuff that I just just, just a here. vibe like, get I'm, out there i really don't think too hard about it. And now when you're, because I, I play around a little bit with TikTok just to get um, some promo and whatnot. Yeah. But uh, like, are you sitting there, are you pressing the button, letting go, like, let's redo this? Or are you just like, send oh, yeah. it? Oh, yeah, it a couple of tries. So like, when I get the idea, it definitely may take like, you know what I mean, trial and error of like getting the exact video that I want, that right. I want the picture. But like the idea itself, it comes like that. Right, because I mean, I don't know how... I don't know if it's her over here who's doing the, the filming or whatnot, but when you bust in the door and you got like a dress that you stuffed your big ass body into and you're little like, little, like little dress, big body dudes busting in the room, I'll have to do 10, 10 takes before I get it straight. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, no, that was mad, but that's actually a funny story because she was gone. She was, with, she was with her friend and she, she had, she was just coming home and I thought her and her friend was gonna come over and I was supposed to meet her friend for the first time too. And so I'm her friend like, comes in and you're in a dress. Right, but I had this idea in my head. I'm like, yo, I got a business idea out now. And plus when I have these ideas, it's like, 
TikTok's algorithm is weird, so like I try to get it posted before like six thirty, seven o'clock. And, and beat like, the algorithm. Yeah, and for some reason, I don't know why, but all my ideas always come out like four o'clock, four thirty, five o'clock. For some reason, that's I don't your know creative why. time. Man, weird. And like I'll have those ideas, and then like, like I said, she was coming home, and I'm like in a fucking dress and shit, <laughs> <laughs> and like shorty, her friends was to come, and it was just mad funny, bro. But yeah, now that situation is crazy. So listen, if you yeah. meet Usi in a dress it's tiktok related <laughs> tiktok definitely. related only <laughs> all right so um another thing i want to talk about fingerboard skate park i've never in a long time and i'm not that old but i've never in my life seen somebody with a whole room dedicated to fingerboard skate park <laughs> and i think it's dope i've never seen a setup like that how long did it take for, for you to create that that took years <laughs> and like you got dope art took, on the wall it, it, i mean to do the, the actual room itself i mean I moved into that apartment like a year ago now. So like, I had the idea already before I even moving in that like this is what I want to do with this, this room. But like that idea to accumulate the idea that I had, I felt like that took freaking years, bro. Like, right. So it's always been something in your head yeah, that you it's wanted been to do? in my head. And I've always done stuff like that. So right. like growing up, I've always had fingerboard parts like in my room and shit. Like, right, because I see you got you boxes, I mean? yeah, stairs, yeah, yeah. you got rails. So, like, now like I'm an adult and like, I'm like, all right, I'm about to have my own crib. I want a specific room. <laughs> it's like your man cave. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like right. a man cave. So I can go and do and make videos. Do what you like to like do. Yeah. Right. And I like that. So um, when did you start skating slash fingerboarding? And when did you start taking it serious? Like, this is just what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? Uh, I started skating when I was... I was in fourth grade. So I started skating and fingerboarding at the same time. Like, literally, like both the same time. I think I might even got a fingerboard before I started skating. I but think we all did that, you know, though, you, know saying, I mean? you know what I mean? But like it was all like within the same range. Like I got a, a tech deck from like my older brother, and then around the same time I got like a board, and, and I like I dabbled around with it. I didn't like really go too hard with it, and then maybe by just the, a toy at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. By the time I want to say by the time I got to like fifth grade though, I was like, all right, cool, that shit is like this shit is fire. Right. And I had this girl. And you're really nice at it. Like for people, I'm sorry to cut you off. For people don't know fingerboarding, that shit is hard as hell. <laughs> and this dude is hitting real tricks, nolly <laughs> heel flips. This dude's hitting real life tricks on a fingerboard. So yeah, um. Now I had this this girl. Shout out Kelsey Niemeyer, but she was in my elementary school, and we had show and tell. And she brought like a tech deck. To show and tell. Remember show and tell? Yeah, of course. She brought that shit to, to class, and I was mad jealous. Like, I wanted it, man, badly, and I couldn't get it, you know what I mean? Right. And eventually, I got one, but I always remember that story. I was like, just like, that, it's around that time that I was like, I want to do this. Like, I want to just play with them. And then, I think, like, sixth grade, I met, like, a couple of homies that, like, skated and stuff. And, always you know, at the I park, was, always in the street. Stuff, dude. Yeah. Like, just being on YouTube and, like, watching skate videos. If you're watching this game, you're going to come across a thing where it's Right, point. exactly. Yeah. I mean, looking at skate magazines, you see um, tech deck uh, right, exactly. commercials, basically. Exactly. If you watch any of the videos, the old DVDs that you've seen yeah. at Zoomies, you pop those in. Those right. had like, a commercial if you, if you on it. If you go to get a tech deck, it's like skate brands, too. Right, so, like, real skate brands. If you go to get a tech deck, it's going to be like a DGK brand. Yep. And you're, as a kid, you're gonna be like, "What the heck is a DGK?" Bro? Dirty ghetto kids, baby. You know, you watching DGK videos. Yes, and like, <laughs> exactly. Watching all those right. DGK boys shred it up. So, uh, piggybacking off of that, how was it growing up skating in Utica? Where did you skate, and how was the culture of skateboarding growing up? Bananas. Honestly, I feel like the culture of skateboarding growing up in Utica was completely different from anywhere else. So Had to be right. Like just like anything else, but yeah, 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 dude, it was skating was different for sure. It was. It was a lot of people getting into it and stuff like that cause, like, it was like during the time of like what 2008 2009 new boys like you're a jerk era like, you're wearing skinny, skinny jeans, jeans at the at the like, skate park yeah super lit back then. everybody was wanting to like be a skater at that time so like it was wild in utica bro honestly like you gotta watch your back like <laughs> you <laughs> you're, like, you're bombing a staircase you gotta nah, duck some real, shots like, and shit you know you don't know what's about to happen like, but you, you did like, skate in some sketchy spots right. though that's for sure you couldn't like go to the ski park by yourself when you were like growing up in utica like, i mean we just talked about it It was in the west side yeah. right off of kennedy plaza i mean right. it's it's right over here at our location we're right there and it was right by kennedy plaza and i mean if you grew up in the area and you're a kid from around here i mean you know the stuff that goes down so we're at the skate park in the middle of all this is some adolescents just trying to do 
some fun stuff. So I guess the culture was, was pretty crazy when you sit back and look at it. It was not. So um, events at Utica Skate Park. I see you holding events and like giveaways and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, tell me about that. Just showing love pretty much. That's how I got into the skate scene in Utica. Shout out my son Caden Walber. But he pretty much threw like one of the first skate contests here in Utica that I know of. I mean, actually, no, that's, that's very false. Back in the 2000s, I heard like Alien Workshop and like the Habitat Skateboard Crew, like big time like pro skate. Like, they came to Utica and had like a skate demo. It was like crazy big, but I wasn't skating during that time. But Kaden, back in my- He had his own um little yeah, brand, yeah, didn't he? He's close. K-K-O? K-K-O something. Or something like that. He had a couple of them. Had metaphysics. Metaphysics, dude. Brand. I bought a t-shirt back like then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out that dude. He, he threw the first skate contest and I came in first place at that contest. And ever since that contest, I was like, no, I'm definitely taking skateboarding, like, seriously. Seriously. Because, I mean, at that time, I, I think I was only skating, like, seriously at the skate park for, like, two years. And then that contest happened. And then, you know, I mean, fast forward down the line, I'm just trying to show love, do the same thing for the kids. So now. you're just modeling yourself yeah. after what you've seen growing up. And, I mean, what else can you do? Be, be the example that yeah. you want to see behind you man and that's the best thing i can say on this show and give to people underneath us and coming up the same way as we can just do your thing and model the model yourself after the people who did it right before you that got you into it like he said metaphysics and caden and uh so camp woodward this was cool to me yo because growing up i skateboarded a little bit and um i always watched the dvds and looked through the magazines and you've seen camp woodward everywhere and as a kid who skateboarded all you wanted to do you and your boys yo we gotta we gotta go there right <laughs> you not only went there but you got to be an instructor and yeah. like in a teacher there yeah. how was that that was a trip bro <laughs> that was, it was dream all, come true all of the above it was definitely a dream come true it was everything you expected everything you least expected was it grimy? Because I, I, I would figure it'd be a little grimy with all those pretty, rats, though. It was pretty though. grimy. It was pretty. It was pretty. Uh, Skate rats that's everywhere. That's what you wanted to be, though. Right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if you're a skater, you wanted to be kind of grimy. You wanted to be kind of. You wanted to be, you wouldn't have it any other way. Of like, you know what I mean? You're just out with your boys and you're Skate, having fun. Having fun. Having fun. Stuff, but it was sick though. And you know what? I think you got one of the craziest videos on your phone from that dude Duffin. The dude on the scooter that did the That was that the craziest like, shit. Viral, right? I don't know if Fuller can drop that footage <laughs> in behind the scenes. But what I'm saying is that is the craziest scooter duff Yo, I've ever seen in history. And my man was there. I seen it on his story before I seen it on crazy. real real media. Yeah, so uh crazy. he had it. So Camp one more question he, about Camp Go ahead. He actually got up from that. But, like it was nothing Bro he got up from that And was scootering Like that same day The next morning He was like, Cause he was an instructor He wasn't even like Like one of the kids That was an instructor He was like a teacher Like me Yeah yeah He was an instructor He was a scooter instructor Yeah yeah, yeah. And, like, he had to, yeah Yo bro. I'm sorry That dude's not Teaching my kid How to scooter At all Yeah bro He <laughs> didn't get back up bro I was like wow Yo that's hilarious so uh, the rest of the questions I got are kind of just some quick ramble off and, I mean, see where they go. So you're out there skating all day at 15 years old. Where would you stop at to eat and get a snack and a bevy? Corner store. Which one? <laughs> uh, wait, what, you, what you say, uh, 15? Yeah, 15. Uh, Wally's in, uh, in the hell. For okay, sure. <laughs> all right, all right. Shout out them. <laughs> Word, uh, shout out Wally's. You already know. Everybody knows. Shout out Wally's. Um, right. Favorite restaurant in the area? I'm going to break some hearts on this show, man. I'm sorry, but this is E-Local. We're going to give it to you straight up. So, <laughs> favorite restaurant yeah, in the area? Shout out E-Local, but I'm going to have to shout out my son, Mike Wally. He definitely, I had the pizza sponsor for a whole summer straight. And me shout and out homies, pizza. We ate free pizza for basically a year straight. Pizza, wings, bevs. Whatever. We, we walked in and got whatever we wanted for a year straight. So. That's fire. Shout out Mike Wally. Shout out Hot Off the Brick for sure. Hot Off the Brick, yeah. facts. And they got they got one of those hot, hot sauces too. Don't even ask for it because it's going to ruin your night. Charcoal, uh, charcoal grilled wings. Oh, charboiled wings. Yeah, Hell yeah. Fire, yeah, no, that's what you go to when you get wings for sure. Now, this one might break a lot of hearts too. And I think it, you just kind of answered it. But best pizza in the city. Oh, well. I mean, shout out Mike Wiley. I love him, bro. <laughs> all, right, all right. So we're going to keep it a buck here. I, I said Tony's, that. I love Tony's, bro. I love Tony's, Tony's bro. where? Tony's on uh, Genesee Street on, like, South Utica. Okay. Yeah, they I got the nice thick slices. All right. All right. <laughs> now, you, you, grab, valid, you, grab, you grab a slice. You grab, you grab sauce. 
Hot sauce. Hot sauce? Mild, hot sauce. mild medium, or hot? It gotta be the hottest. All right, bet. I it fuck with Uzi. This is why Uzi's on my show bro, right I don't now. No hot sauce. No hot sauce. No pizza. That's my son right <laughs> like, here. Literally. That's my son. All right. So, uh, go to fast food spot when you're lit lit. Like, lit lit? Like drunk? You're lit lit, bro. Mm. You're lit. Mm. Twist it up. Dang. Where are you pulling up to? That's tough. That's real tough. I don't know, probably like McDonald's, sadly. <laughs> Mc, McDonald's never misses when you're sloshed, you know? <laughs> Ever. And you can oh, get yeah, everything off the dollar like, menu of your straight. Store, I can stop by a corner store and get a beef. If, wait, nah, wait, let me run that back. If it's a hot, nice summer day and we lit, I'm going to the corner store. Okay. And I'm going to go get some chicken wings okay. or a beef patty or a chopped cheese. That's what you're getting. But if it's cold out like this, I'm hitting the drive through. Any fast, any fast food, Taco Bell, right? they all got it. What's your order? You're sloshed, though. You're sloshed at Mickey D's. 3 a.m. Yep. Let me get a double, you know, onions or pickle. Small fry. No, no, no. Especially that. Medium fry. <laughs> Fuck Large the small fry. Sloshed, no boy. Ice. And an apple pie. And My son eats a lot when he's drunk, bro. I'd be flowing <laughs> up. I'd be in the middle of McDonald's. Sick as hell. God damn! <laughs> I might be missing a few things, to be honest. He's like, I got a couple bags coming on, boy. <laughs> so, uh, favorite skate shoes, and it can be then when you started, mm -hmm. and it can be now, or it can be all time. Uh, definitely DCs. 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 Now strictly for skate use. To yeah, to skate in DCs, they're just super comfortable. Got a lot of impact. Can jump down shit that's like really high. It doesn't hurt your feet. Yeah, you don't have right. To worry about your I fucked with muskas, and um, I was young when the muskas came out with the the supers. The supers, right? Oh, I had those. I had those in like the. Mm, I forgot what. I had the Darth was. Vader's. I had the purples. I had. It was so. Uh, they had like a weird material, but they were sick though. Yeah, and I remember when they came out, they had the uh, the pocket with the tongue that you can unzip. Right. right. I did a lot of shit with that <laughs> with that tongue pocket. Yeah. So yeah, shout out that. Super. Um, <laughs> especially with that shoe and that, that tongue with the zipper. Board set up right now. Um, I forgot what kind of deck I got. I wanted that the Syracuse Skate event. Shout out Drew for giving me the board. And then I got Tech Deck Grip Tape. Shout out Tech Deck for sending Grip Tape. <laughs> I got um, Independent Trucks. And I forgot what kind of wheels I got. And it's your bearings. My bearings. I don't know what kind of bearings I got, but shout out Jack from Woodward, one of my uh, camp kids. He gave me some bearings before he left. He was like, yo, thanks for being the best cosplay. Hey, he like, what's his bro. name? Jack. Shout out Jack. Shout out, yeah, definitely shout out Jack. Um, that kind of led into sponsor. So you're sponsored by Tech Tech. Yeah. What else are you sponsored by? Uh, Teep Tuning and... No, that's it. That's it. What's up with Young Lords? Is that you? Yeah, that's me. Okay, so <laughs> that was a simple question. Young yeah. Loris, Lucy. All right, um, Listen, this one's crazy. And I, I I think I should know the answer, but favorite skateboarding video game ever? Nah, that's actually tough, bro. That's really hard. If it's I not one of the skates, bro, skate I'm gonna... Bottom, bro. You gotta say skate, bottom. though. But skate two. <laughs> All the time. I'm not gonna go with skate the three. The Hall of I'm Meat? Not go with skate three. The Hall yeah. of Meat, you can break your bones yeah, and skate, get trophies. Skate three is like the epitome of like skateboarding video games. And, and the w the controls too. Hours, bro. And the controls, right. right. I spent countless hours on skate three, bro. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Skate three, skate right. period, it doesn't matter to me if it's one, two, or three. Right. They're all fire, but I, I needed them to say that. Because Tony Hawks are fire. It's what you start you, know, you start at. And um when you're young and you just grab you in the PS2 or whatever. You're playing Tony Hawk, but it's unrealistic. You get to you get to skate three, and you know a little bit about skate culture. The game's over. There's there's nothing else that you play. So, um, favorite skateboarder growing up, and favorite skater now. That's interesting. Mine was Kevin Spanky Long and Tom Petty growing hey, up. Hey, Kevin Spanky Long, that's dude. Man. Yes, sir. Um, Eric Ellington. Let me not forget that. Up, I think I have to say. I think it might be like Terry Kennedy. Oof, oof. Yeah. Gotta have Terry Sucks Kennedy. Because he's been going down crazy bad. I don't know if anybody heard. Yeah. CK has been going through. He's been he got like a freaking charge or whatever. Yeah. He's, he's getting he's getting back into his old ways. Crazy, yeah. Now, yeah, CK growing up right now, man, I don't know. I'm my favorite skater. <laughs> That's what's up, man. 
Uh, Uzi's <laughs> Uzi's favorite skater. There's too many good skaters. That's like there's too many. You admire everyone's work. Yeah, where there's too many. Right. There's too many good skaters. Like. And everyone skates a certain different way. Everyone exactly. does a trick a different way. Exactly. You know, what I have been fucking with. Let me let me say this. Neen Williams lately. Yo, because he's, he's actually super dope dude to like follow. He is, Especially and I follow like him because like I've been getting into the fitness, like bro. That, yeah. And he's a beast, and he's got his own little cooking thing he right, does with a yeah, not a damn chance. Bro. I got the seasonings. Right. Fire. Oh, you got the seasonings. I got the seasonings. For real? Yes, sir. No, no, I gotta try it. Okay. Facts, <laughs> bro. Fire. Facts. I'll, I'll give you one when we That's see each other next fire, time. Bro. Yeah. But um, worst injury and how many broken bones skateboarding? So I never broken a bone. Knock on wood. Is there wood in here, bro? Knock on something. Something, bro. Never broken a bone. I mean, I, I don't think you can't count a fracture. Yeah, fracture. yeah, count a fracture. Injuries, injuries. Okay, so Worst injury. Fractured, I fractured both my ankles. <laughs> Same time? Probably not. Nah, nah, oh times, shit! But like, mo- like multiple times. Like I can't even count how many times. I probably cut, I fractured maybe this ankle like twice, and then it's about twice on both ankles. That's about it. I don't really get any injuries. Like, just ankle fractures. So I remember reading something on Facebook that you posted about your eye yeah. and skateboarding. So tell me a little bit about that. Do you still skate with your eye messed up or did you just straight fingerboard with your eye? So, so wait, when? Like, I'm, I know that you hurt your eye or whatever yeah. like that and you couldn't see very good. Mm-hmm. And I remember seeing a little bit of uh, video footage of you still skating at the park and whatnot. Like, did you right, do that right. often? Did you? So, so what happened was I started losing eyesight. <laughs> just just yeah, 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 naturally yeah, yeah. Na- losing your eyes. I have a uh, disease called sarcoid. Okay. Right? So like I started losing my eyesight maybe like a year and a half ago and like it was like gradual as fuck though. So like at first I kind of just thought like oh should I just need the glasses and then like me just being young and naive or whatever. I'm like eyesight whatever. Right. And then like time went on, a couple months go down the line and then that whole summer passed. I'm like wait. Nah, so I'm not right. So that whole time, yeah, I was I was right. skating, I was going out, fingerboarding, I was going, doing whatever. And then that that winter came, and I was like, I need to go get this fixed. So like, Did your skating stuff. suffer from it? Big time. Yeah. Big time. Big time. I wasn't even, and that's what made me go. That's what made me go because at the end of that summer, I, I, I like I look back and when I'm really I'll say New York. When winter come around, you always look back and see how your progress was. I look back, I was like, dang, I ain't really nothing. I was skating, or like I was skating, but like I wasn't skating as hard as I could. Being skating careful because, because you're out. Being careful or whatever the case was. So by the time winter came around, I was like, I need to go get checked. My girl, my mom, they were like, you need to go get that checked off now. So right. went, got a check, and it was like just in time, bro. The doctor was like, Pat, you're good. Like, come in. We're going to start your medicine like immediately. And then, like, literally, I got put on medicine that night that I went in. By the next day, bro, I woke up and was, like, starting to clear up. And I was like, yo, yeah, right. Like, and by that time, bro, like, I couldn't even, I have, like, a 60-inch TV, 55-inch TV in front of my bed. And I wasn't even able to see the TV, like, in front of me, bro. Right. And I was like, yeah, I need to do, like, do something because... Do what you love, walk. right? <laughs> so I mean, we all get older, man. Take care of yourself. You know, Definitely. stay healthy. Always go to the doctor if you think something's wrong. Definitely. We are smart. All of us are smart. Some of us know everything. But um, go get checked out, man. Take care of yourself. Health is wealth. Um, what would you tell the next generation coming up, like you, following the same path as you? Look right into that camera when you say, "Don't stop." Keep going, don't stop, don't listen to nobody. That's all I can say is don't stop. Like, Be yourself and do your thing. At the end of anything, if I can show anything to anyone, that's why like I really like started really going hard with like, the tech tech stuff. Like, who's going hard at tech tech? I don't know anybody. Tech, who's going hard at tech tech and who like looks like me with going hard at tech tech? You know what I mean? So like there could be a lot of kids out there who look like me who I didn't have that song. Even want to skateboard too. Me, exactly, like like, I don't know any black fingerboarders, bro. I know maybe one, and he don't even think about that no more. Right. And, like, it's just me and my homies. That's it. Literally. And it's like this one other dude that just opened up some place in uh, Indianapolis. He got, like, a fingerboard spot for, like, a bunch of kids to come in. He's black. And he started doing it. And where it's just a little stuff like that that, like, keep pushing and stuff like that. So I just keep, you know, tell people, find little things to keep you motivated, man. Like, little things to keep you 
in the circulation of trying. Right. <laughs> Keep trying and stay motivated, yeah. man. Good words from Usi, man. And um, what's up next, and what are you working on now? Everything. Like, <laughs> seriously, everything. I'm trying to hopefully tech deck season. I'm trying to go super pro for tech deck. I want my, I want boards badly, somehow, some type of way. I'm trying to be sick. Um, young lords, I plan on doing a lot more with, like, just the clothing wise of it, because I was doing a bunch of clothing drops, and I plan on doing some stuff like that. I want the boards too, but. If I see boards and decks come out, yeah, bro, I definitely but, want yeah, one. A lot more videos, though. That's, so we're definitely looking at more definitely content. More videos. Definitely more, more chicken YouTube, bones, more hot dogs. All right. I'm excited for that, man. <laughs> and let them know how to follow you, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, yeah, or TikTok. Follow me on no TikTok at UC Mentis. Follow me on Instagram at UC Mentis. I think, yeah, everything is all the same, so, yeah. It's all the same. That's all the questions I had, but before we do get out of here, I would like find my uh, pen have my boy sign my uh, deck right here for me. <laughs> Got you, bro. Oh. oh. Phone down. You know it's official because I tie, I sign it tie. Okay. <laughs> okay. There we go. So we know it's official now, man. And sign, I mean, if it ain't signed tie, I shouldn't even probably say that. Though. Right, right. You're going to piss a lot of people That's off. It. This is There's more to it. This is local. We do what we have to do. And man, you know, give people the flowers around you that deserve them, man. Usi's a cool dude. He's doing cool things for the community. And uh, I like seeing people do things differently and talk the way you do, man. Mad humble. And uh, honored to have you on the show. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. Definitely. Fuck the ups, ain't showing no energy Ride around with a Nina and a 40 That's two bitches, I don't need another shorty Call too fast, I'ma skid off in the sport Can't advise us none, we don't need a nigga's corny So yeah. tell them pipe it, pipe it down We the hottest in the town Bunch of fire in my circle So don't think it's not around So tell them pipe it, pipe it down We the hottest in the town Bunch of fire in my circle So don't think it's not around I be walking around in my dreams He got hit, he was fucking around with my team I ain't fucking around with the we're here at 16 Stone. We're behind the kitchen right now with Caleb, one of the chefs and the owners of 16 Stone. He's cooking up back here, and uh, I just want to know when did you guys open this location? Where did you start, and um, where do you see your future? So we've been around. Uh, where our original location is in Hall Patton. Um, the uh, we went over about seven years up there. So this location we've got open about uh, let's see three and a half months now. So it seems like it seems like just yesterday, but it's been uh, it's been about a year and a half in the process uh, putting the space together and with the fitness building. We have such a great partnership with them, and uh, everything was delayed because of the time we live in. So it's been uh, it's been interesting. So um, but we uh, yeah we've been in this location for uh, three and a half months. So we're looking forward to uh, many more years to come down here. So we've kind of we kind of brought our brand to Holland Patton about 20 minutes away brought our brand from there and then uh we came down here and uh yeah, we're excited so kind of more big brewer, bigger brewery scene down here so, so you guys brew your own drinks your own beer we do we do we brew all our own uh all of our own beer we do have a couple guest tabs on um uh, every once in a while we kind of uh we uh don't bring in somebody from the outside or to other locations and stuff like that so but uh i mean for the most part it's all of our own beer it's uh it's a tough process only one of the one of the uh, one of the guys, one of the owners, he brews all of our beer up in Holland Patton. So and then we bring it down here. So yeah, we keep about seven taps on here, and we have about uh, close to 16 taps in Holland Patton of all of our own beer. Homemade brewed on the tap beer, 16 stone. Now what is the location right here, address? This is 1707 Aristini Street West. All right, we're located in the Fitness Mill building. Uh, it's a brand new state-of-the-art building, uh, business center down here. So. If you ever want to come down and, and check out the gym, uh, there's also Jones Corner Barbershops here, Peter's Cornucopia, as well as Cooperstown Connection, Be Life Art Studio, uh, and the Fitness Mill. I mean, it's a brand new gym, man. It's a beautiful place. So, uh, really, really cool uh, venture by Alex Carbone down here. So, and you and, and I'll bet you too, you'll always see Alex in here eating lunch too, or in, in dinner. So I feed Alex quite a, quite a bit. So he's actually literally ready to bark. Yeah, so. He's, uh, it's right out of the west side. I can throw a rock 
probably hit the west side right now. So yeah. if you're around Utica, it's not hard to get here. It's a cool environment. Caleb's one of your chefs. <laughs> what yeah. else can we ask for? Yeah. Right, anything else you want to talk about six and seven before we get out here? Uh, I mean, we are, so we do have a few different events that we do every week. We do do comedy on Thursday nights with open mic night. We also have a uh, uh, trivia night on Tuesday nights, too. So then uh, Mondays are our, our leg day, we call it. So we do, uh, we do thighs instead of chicken wings. So, we do, uh, we do a lot of that, uh, a lot of different specials throughout the week. Happy hour every day, even on the weekends, 3 to 6. So, can't beat that. Can't be a little happy hour. Happy hour. Yeah, yeah. Every so, day's happy hour. Every day, baby. Every day. Every so, day. So. Yeah. All right, man. Thank you very much yeah. for having us. Thanks for forward to trying this little Amen. So, that's a wrap. Another episode of Eat Locals, you weirdo. Usi Mentis, Geo Gump, 16 Stone. I got my board sign. Food was phenomenal. I did that. Let me get the hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Food was phenomenal. Great, real good, tasty, delicious, in my tummy. Yeah, I'm a mummy. Uh. <laughs> With the quick I'm bars from Uzi, man. Mahala, thank you for having thank, me, thank bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. I'm going to keep on doing keep great on, things. Man. You keep on doing great things. Yes, sir. And I'm excited to see yeah. what's next for you, man. Yeah, let me know about some of these events that y'all want to do with this, you know, this art Absolutely. too. So. Music, fashion, art coming on the way yeah, too. Usi will be there next time. China, you heard? I mean, it's bigger than fingerboarding. That's it. I don't know about that, but eat local, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Shout out to the ones who wouldn't play this shit to dumb it down. down But I'm the king so just address me when I come around J. Ramy know the name of demons, yeah we run the town I've been sipping, tripping, mixing quiver through a cuz of brown We've been looking fishy up the radio because of loud Been to different cities, silent people, fuck they talking about Set the cousin 50, he out west, told him to walk it out Homies from the set, wanna throw 50, they don't talk it out Shorty sending kisses from the neck, she moving to the south Threw up in a section in the set, they caught it in the mouth From the feet I'm dripping in the set, the beats we killing sounds Boss nigga, my attraction a gold digger, gold figure, opposite of a old nigga, porn center, definition of gold getter, low shit up on my neck and my gold glitter, with boss chin up, finna savage, I'm lost.